Welcome back to Three Talking Rabbits. I'm Gail, and today we're going to give Max Rabbit a butt bath. Also so if you follow the channel for a while and watch the bunny videos, you know that this is Max the Murder Bunny, and I'm just calling him Mr. Max right now because he is a very sweet boy now. But as he's gotten older, he has a little physical problem. Um, his scrotum is low which is, and his testicles are low, and that was actually a DQ for showing, because as they age, it gets lower, and there's no surgical fix to it. Um, he's also not a candidate for surgery, because he has a heart murmur, so every few days, I just have to turn him over and check his bum, and make sure that he's not collecting a little poop ball underneath his scrotum and on his bum little basin here that I put some water in, and which he does not like. Yes, he knows what that means. Um, he gets a little sits bath. We get as little of him wet as possible, and, um, and I have to dry him. And while he likes being petted, he does not like the whole sits bath thing. So, Okay, so this is the bum that is dirty, and that's got to be cleaned up. Uh, here is the low scrotum, and it sits right over the top of his peer and pooper and then he can't get his body clean so we have to clean that up so this is after what I'll call dry cleaning oh, and he's up um, I blew his coat I wiped him down with the paper towels we went through three paper towels um, I cleaned out the pockets on either side of his bum um, just to make sure that they aren't stanky and um, yeah meow I see you and um, now because he's got um, like goop and gooey stuff that's not drying up so a lot of times if I can just dry clean him that's better for him um, but today he is not cleaning up that easily um, so I do have to do a sits bath for him which he is not going to enjoy but at least the water will be warm so the reason I have to do a sits bath, hold still, is because see the dry poo on his scrotum? Okay, and here you, now you can really see how his scrotum overlays his mound, and we don't want that skin to get red and angry, but this all has to come off. This stuff cannot stay on there. And this has to be done every few days, because if we don't do it, then he will get sores. And I am in contact with his veterinarian about this. This is a hazard of old bunny. Oh, rubber made. Apologies. Warm water. This is not milk. And hopefully he will not object nearly as much if the water is warm. We're going to find out though. I'm sure he won't be happy. Yes, yes, I know. No eating the butt bath. Alright, so what I do is I hold him under his chest like this. And we're only going to put his bum in the water. Yeah, we're not objecting nearly as much. Shows, um, let's see, that shows um, a messier bum from a different day. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. All right. I didn't put the towel down, so now we got to have a wet pillow. That was silly of me. Getting ahead of myself here. I'm going to dry the bum. And he still has a really big poop tag on there. My goal in washing him is to get his skin clean and get any of that urea or, um, you know, the stuff that's going to hurt him. Because you, you can't sit in poop. He'll get, like, diaper rash if I let him sit in it. Okay, down you go, my man. And if I let this sit here, he'll dump it on me. The bunny does not like the butt baths. Ah, you see, the butt baths is evil. I throw them away. Now we see if they can see your bum, which you're probably not going to be tremendously happy about, but that's okay. Alright, you lay there. Okay, so here or show a bunny bum. Here's the poop tag, which has had a few minutes to soften. 
and it's really, really close to his skin. His skin, his hair is here, his skin is here, and the poop tag is there. His balls are much cleaner, but you can see how his balls, just like his scrotum, just totally overlays this entire mound um, where his urethra and his anus are. Um, and that's not healthy for him. And also, because his scrotum is so low, he gets these little um, bits of poop here, and that's not healthy for him. You know, he can get diaper rash from that. So I've got to take that off about every third day. Um, paper towels help. And he does actually have a tiny bit of diaper rash happening right there, I think. Um, so I've got to be very, very diligent about this because otherwise it negatively impacts his health. Um, this is a DQ or disqualification in a show rabbit. It's not good for them. Uh, it's not something you want to breed. They can actually, it can prevent them from breeding as they get older. Um, so you want to be very careful about that. Um, don't breed an animal with low scrotum. It does breed true. Okay, now you sit, my bud. So the thing I want to do is to get this fur out of here. Would you sit, please? Just sit. I want to make sure I don't catch a scrotum. You're not sitting. You're being a butt. I gotta clean your butt. Just sit, please. None of this stuff is highly spinnable anyway, so I've softened it a little, so I should, in theory, be able to cut that. Now, his, the start of his scrotum is right here, so I have to be very, very careful not to cut him. Um, the clippers do not like cutting wet. Fortunately, the bunny fluff does not get wet very easily. Okay, doke. Just move this a little bit. I don't usually stand over here, so this is, no, stop. So this is a little awkward for me. We're fine. You want to always control where your bunny's spine is. Don't let them twist. And you can see he's got wetness here, so I'm just going to clip that away. And somebody a while ago on um, the Dirty Bunny Butt video, that gets so many views, it's so weird, um, said, why don't you just shave them close? Well, the answer to that is if you shave them too close when they have a problem like this, there's nowhere to clip to make it go away. So you can clip them kind of short, which helps them clean themselves a little bit. But in his case, I can't shave him right down to the skin. Here, this, this is a great example of how that just overlays. And that does it when he's upright too, and he can't get to this to clean it. Um, so that is my job. No, you sit. You just sit right there, you'll find. So I don't want to take this back to skin. I want it to get maybe like half an inch or so, so that he can get in as best he can but I do not want it to get to the point where the poop is actually stuck to his skin because then I've got nothing to work with. And that's the problem I'm running into on his tail here is that when I he, when this happened last time, I had to clip him down real short to get rid of the dirty stuff. And um, he ended up, it, it's too close now and I've got nothing to work with and it's stuck to him. Okay, so I'm moving everything away. We're going to dry them with a paper towel. You sit. You're fine. He can get a little sludgy in here. It's, it's just like, um, oh, we're peeing. Sorry. The skin overlays and it's always damp. Um, and that's whether I give him a butt bath or not. That you know, the the butt bath is um, 
the whole purpose of it is to get that urea and any feces and stuff off of his skin because it's going to sit there if I don't. Um, his vet does know. Oh, we got a whole bunch of poop right here. Look at this. There's a whole bunch of feces there and that's going to cause a problem for him. So we're going to have to do another butt bath. No, nope, sit. We're fine. Sorry, bud. Oh, honey, I know that hurts. Yep, that tinky, yucky yuck. Got sores. I'm sorry, sweetie. I must have missed that last time. Oh, my poor Mr. Max. So this, obviously, you do not want to have this in a rabbit. Um, it is very labor intensive to take care of this. It's not fun for the rabbit. Um, so there's this whole poop tag and it's just stuck to him. And I have to be very, very careful to get under that hair that it's stuck to. And then unfortunately, because I'm cutting the hair short, next time it's not going to be up on the hair, it's going to be like right on his skin. And I really don't want to cut him, for obvious reasons, because you don't want to cut your bunny. Um, and I don't want to pull on him too much, because that's not comfortable. The scissors are dirty because I did this before I started filming. It, it was worse. Um, and obviously this is extremely delicate skin. And this happens about every third day. So if that gives you an idea of the labor that you have to go into keeping a rabbit with this condition clean, and hopefully that gives you an idea. And yes, it stinks. Sometimes I can cut the poop itself down, and that will help, because then I can wash the rest of it out of there. Oh, my poor bud. Sometimes with the hair there, i got to cut that out too. I don't like doing that, but it's just not staying clean. Yeah, he's got a whole poop pocket shoved right up into his um, scent gland. Okay, there's that one that's mostly gone now. That should feel a little bit better for you, my bud. Yep, all right, why don't you take a break? Okay, I'll give a little bunny some pets. Had a tiny little break. And now we're gonna have to go back to it, my dude. Yep. Unfortunately, we are only half done. Got the other side to go. I'm probably not even half done. We're probably gonna have to give you another butt bath. All right, so here you can see the worst of it, right there. And because I have washed him, in theory, that should start to come up fairly easily. No, 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 stop, stop. No, no, you gotta sit. I'm sorry you don't wanna sit, but you gotta sit. You got a big poopy on your bum. I know, it's no fun. Trust me, it's not fun for me either, my dude. I don't like a poopy bum any more than you do. 
Okay. The main thing is you don't want to get his skin in there. All right, so that's starting to peel away. I also don't want to rip his skin because obviously, I mean, it's very tender skin here. Um, but trust me, this smells bad. This is not a pleasant job. There we go, got half of it. So this is a mix of cecal poops and fecal poops. There we go. Almost, my bud. I just got this one little hard pocket back here. Because that is free. And I'm going to have to give him another butt bath, which he is not going to enjoy. Stop. Please stop. You're fine. You are. You're okay. It's all right. I know, I'm talking to the camera, I'm not making soothing bunny sounds. And again, this is like right by his scrotum. So I want to be very, very careful not to hurt his skin. So a lot of that, a lot of times that means that I'm cutting the feces in half. Okay, I think that's going to come out in the butt bath. This side looks really good. It's that side I'm concerned about. So we're going to do another butt bath. Let me see this lovely little tail of yours. I'll just trim that up a little bit. I don't want to cut too much hair off because again I want to be able to get underneath any feces and his hair helps hold that off of his skin. Okay, no throwing the scissors. No, do not throw that. No dump in the water. Okay, let's see what we have here. That should be okay. No throw in the water, Mr. Max. Alright, we'll see it from this side. And the water is not quite as warm as it was. I'm trying to just set the base of his tail in there. And I'm trying to splash that clean water up into that little pocket that was filled with feces. And he's got a little hard nodule of feces stuck on the base of his tail, which I'm going to try to get up. All right, that feels like skin now. Okay. Set him on paper towel. This just keeps the um, the pillow from getting totally soaked. Sorry, bud. Okay. I know, my dude. Not a fun business, huh? See, no like zero stars. Okay, let's see what we got here, my dude. No, stop. Oh, fine. Stop. Okay, so... Get the bunny butt dried up. That feels much cleaner. Stop. Do you mind? Obviously. I think we gotta put it back on the other side. Because you're just gonna kick up a fit, but you gotta lay on that side. We don't like that side. Let's see if we can get this job done, huh? He's got a mat on his chest too, but I'm not gonna film that. Okay, so at this point, we just want to get him dried off. 
which he probably does not enjoy all that much, but you can see much cleaner bunny butt. And I've got another shoot from two weeks ago, three weeks ago, somewhere in there, that shows the same thing from different camera angles. Oh, no, we still got, still got poop in the pocket. That did not do it. So obviously the main concern with this, outside of diaper rash, is um, fly strike because the flies will smell this and they will go for it. Um, so we got some different types of fly traps for this year because he did end up with fly strike last year. Um, and obviously keeping things real clean both on him and in the bunny house. Um, yeah, I know. Now you're going to start to hate on the paper towels, huh? Oh, it's so, so frustrating. It is. It's just the most frustrating thing ever. We hates it, we hates it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We hates it. Um, I do clean these pillows. <laughs> it's just that the rabbits like to pee on them, and so they get stained up real bad. Okay. Can't promise it's the last time, bud, but we're working on it, okay? So the rabbit fur does not get wet easily. Um, if it's already wet, the water will go to it. But you don't have to worry about your entire rabbit just getting soaked if you're only giving them a sitz bath. All right, I think I actually got it. Um, I think I might want to put some antibiotic cream on him or like some petroleum jelly or something like that because he's really really raw. Um, I don't know how safe diaper rash cream would be. I think I'm going to ask his vet um, because obviously he needs some kind of barrier cream to help him here. But we pretty much got it. There we go. Clean bunny bum. Now that you've bared your butt to the entire internet. You'll be the most popular bunny butt on YouTube. I'm pretty sure of it. Okay. Now that I have thoroughly humiliated you, I'll blow your coat. Alright. Thank you for watching Three Talking Rabbits. My rabbit has totally expressed his opinion of this entire process. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I can't guarantee how many more bunny butt videos I will ever put out. Goodness sakes. Okay, and here is after cleaning and drying and trimming. And it's not perfect, um, but it is a butt that a bunny can clean on his own for a few days. Um, his legs are trimmed up. His belly fur is trimmed up. Um, he is not happy with me one bit. And he's going to throw the scissors probably. And I don't blame him. Sorry about that, bud. I don't like cleaning your butt either. But if you have an older bunny, be aware that butt problems can happen. And actually, it doesn't really matter. If you have a bunny, butt problems can happen. It doesn't matter if they're fuzzy or not. Bunny bum issues are part of the deal. And some rabbits never have problems, which is great. Okay, here's the Max Rabbit looking all handsome. We're all done with the grooming. Much to his pleasure and relief. We have a clean bum. We have a blown coat. We have a dematted belly. A trimmed up neck, because that was all Matt's too. And we're done. At least for today, right? We'll see about tomorrow.